to you all in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Uh, as you can tell, I'm a bit nervous and a bit, uh, you know, uh, but what about you, God? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, first of all, I would like to acknowledge the man of God, the anointing that is among us. That has allowed a person like me to stand in front of you today and uh, give a word on such a special day, Amen. on such a special occasion. Amen. I want to thank you, men of God. Now, my, I want to thank you so much. I also would like to acknowledge and thank the board, the Panthea uh, Thank you so much for the work that you do behind the scenes support the men of God. Uh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. amen, amen. I would like to thank the church as a whole because there is no church without you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We are here as a unit because if we don't work as a unit, we don't have to work as a unit. But it becomes easy when we work as a unit. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. 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 We thought, Today we are going to talk about Moses. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen, amen. Exodus chapter 17, verse number 8, it says, Then came Amalek and found with Israel in Rephidim. And Moses said unto Joshua, Choose us out men and go out, fight with Amalek. Amalek, tomorrow I will stand on the top of the hill with the rod of God in mine hand. So Joshua did as Moses had said to him, and fought the Amalek, and fought with Amalek. And Moses, Aaron, and who went to went up to the hill. Sorry, shut up, Aaron. And Moses, Aaron, and who went up to the top of the hill. And it came to pass when Moses held up his hand. That, the Israel, that Israel prevailed. And when he let down his head, Amalek prevailed. But Moses' hands were heavy. And they took a stone and put it under him. And he sat there. And Aaron and who stayed up his hands. The one on the one side and the other on the other side. And his hands were steady until the going down of the sun. Verse number 13. And Joshua discomfited Amalek and his people with the edge of the sword. And the Lord said unto Moses, Write this for a memorial in a book and rehearse it in the ears of Joshua. For I will utterly put out the remembrance of Amalek from under heaven. And Moses built an altar and called the, called the name of it Jehovah Nisi. For he said, because the Lord hath sworn that he will have war with Amalek for the, from generation to generation. Hallelujah. Amen. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have just read a story about Moses Amen. and the Israelites. At the time of the Exodus, Pamuwa yar kufunga wewe kuti tasuru mwa, chapa pamu chapa. Amen, amen. They are leaving Egypt and they are entering into the wilderness. You know.
know, sometimes, you know, we are in our lives. So when we are going to have a breakdown, we are going to have a breakdown. But we are going to have a breakdown. There are wars that just come from knowing, you know, to come and fight you. Amen, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Here is the situation. You know, it's like, the Israelites are celebrating. They are happy that they are going to the promised land. But here they are. When they want to hear my Egyptian artism, already you have to stand and in the wilderness. Amen, amen. It's just the same with our situations. Sometimes you are just a fault for no reason. Whether you are successful, whether you are not. You know, even when you are doing well, just like uh, Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. You could find yourself in the lion's den one day. Mm. Just because of people who have got jealous. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Because someone has planned. Amen. Because of your success, I'm not happy. I have to bring you down. But, Yes. He's at an elevated position. He sees each and every battle that we are fighting at the bottom of the mountain. Amen, amen. 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 And he's saying today, I am on the throne. Yes. Yes. I created everything that yes. is on the planet. Yes. I created the heavens and earth and everything that is in it. Yes. <laughs> and it became so because of me. Mm. It is pleasure. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory. But today he says to the Israelites that day, you know what? Even today you will pay me when you will go to the Oh, shut the mouth of the lion. So that it doesn't devour you. And you can walk through the fire, but not your hair will not even burn. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. Because he's on the throne. Hallelujah. My Egyptians go ah, what's the drop in there? But today he's saying, I can even open the Red Sea for you to cross. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. So you the situation that these guys are facing. The Israelites are facing. A very difficult situation. Moses has shown us because he knows he instructs Moses, uh, Joshua and the army to go and fight the Amal uh, Amalekites on the foot of the mountain. While he Aaron and her, uh, I'll call him Aaron. It is not a specific name in the Bible, but it's, it's difficult to pronounce sometimes. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. So they go up the mountain. Moses Akat is just simple. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. So there's something, when they were at the mountain, Probably Aaron and Harry, uh, they realized each time Moses had raised the, 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 the road to the Lord, the Israelites were conquering on the foot of the mountain. But each time he grew tired and lowered his hand, the Israelites were getting defeated. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen, amen. 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 It's a challenging situation. But there is a revelation. There is something that Aaron and they realized in, in, in Moses. They realized So he just saying Hallelujah, hallelujah. I don't know if I'm going to be a good person. I don't know if I'm going to be a good person. I don't know if I'm going to be a good person. Hallelujah, hallelujah. No, he didn't do that. Yes. There is 
the reason why it didn't do that. Ah. It must be a revelation. Yes. The reason why Moses is there. Yes. Hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen, amen. Amen. You know, the Shokramari uh, Rotaramuji, they found a stone yeah. and set Moses on the stone. Yeah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yeah. You don't know what I told you, Jehovah. Yeah. Don't forget Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. It shows Yes. So here is the situation now. Hallelujah. Thank God it's not like in our country. Can you imagine? Oh, yeah. Amen, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank God this is the error and the spiritual understanding. Amen, amen, amen. They knew that you can fool anyone, but you cannot fool the anointing. Amen, amen. 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. So in this case, they decided, you know what? Ngachi and the Tino Simu Zamaoko Amos, Zisa Agamata Shimbo, Kuti Shinu Shfabe Basa. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen, amen. 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 Uh, they did that. But why did the Lord allow Moses to be tired? You know, the anointing that was on Moses, it, it, he, was a, he had an overdose of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. But see, the Lord allows Moses to be tired. Why does he, Moses have to be tired? He can command anything into existence and it can happen. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen, amen. amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. But the Lord allowed it. Why did the Lord allow it to happen? Sometimes the Lord creates a situation. For us to see and realize how we can be blessed by raising the hands of Moses. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. Amen, 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 amen. God allowed Moses to be tired so that Aaron and her, they can submit to the anointing that was in place. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Harry and uh, Aaron, they submitted to the anointing that was in place, which is Moses. And raised his hands. Mm. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You know, for every one of us in here, the Lord has put an anointing well ahead of us that fights our battle before we even know about it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen, amen. 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 <laughs> so these guys, they raised the hands of the hand of Moses. And they started to overcome on the foot of the mountain. But here's what is happening as well. Even in our situations. Because the Lord put in place an anointing among us. Hallelujah. The anointing among us. It is through that flow of anointing that issues on the foot of our mold, of the mountain that we have in our lives. That grace that flows from the anointing. It takes care of all the situations that we have in the, on the ground. All the issues that we have on the ground. Simply because by, the, by ministry, ministering to the, to the anointing. So in this case, the Lord was giving an opportunity for Aaron and Harry to minister to the anointing so that they can get the benefits of the anointing as well. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Aaron and Harry, they knew what it If Israel conquers, can I get a Hallelujah. She can not kill it by Israelites. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 
You know, there's one thing that we have to realize. I said you cannot, you can never fool the anointing. Hallelujah. You can never fool the anointing. I have a case here that I have of the woman with the issue of blood. Hallelujah. Amen. This woman, she approached Jesus from behind. But because there was a large crowd, there is a posture that she had to take for her to touch the hem of the, the, hem of the garment of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. A that posture requires humility. It requires humbleness. It requires faith. It requires you to submit to the anointing. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. We are so blessed that the Lord has put an anointing well ahead of us. Well ahead of our battles. That fight on our behalf even when we know it on our job. That anointing is represented here. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen, amen. 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 God is a shrewd businessman. He's very calculated. He never makes mistakes. Hallelujah, hallelujah. He never makes mistakes. The anointing that he puts in your place in your life. That grace that is in your life. That, the grace that you honor and respect. It will always work in your life. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So the woman with the issue of blood. She approached Jesus, but because of the crowd, she ministered to herself. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So she probably crowd. the hem of the garment. There is a posture that you have to carry. For you to be able to do that, waste in a crowded place where everyone is trying to get to the anointing. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. That level of submission, it caused the transfer of the anointing to go and heal your issues. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You know, this woman never told anybody. She never told Jesus that she had an issue of blood. But the anointing itself, it knows what each and every issue you have in your house, you have at your workplace, you have in your marriage, you have whatever issue you have in every aspect of your life, the anointing knows. It doesn't have to be told. Amen, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen, amen. It means the nature is not a hora to teach you. Mahunga, hunga, it's not a hora. Yeah, Mufundis, what, what? Yeah, chino, and chino. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Do you think the anointing is going to flow into your life when you are saying those things? The anointing sees it's there. It is with us even in our houses. Amen, amen. amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. This is the reason why Jesus asked God, who touched me? Because he felt power coming out of him. There is a touch that causes transfer of the anointing into your situation. Hallelujah, hallelujah. She can't move on. 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 She can't move
But there was someone who had that humility, who received that transfer because of that humility. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. Church, what am I saying today? The anointing you honor and respect is a solution to the battles on the foot of your heart. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. It fights for you whether you know it or not. I have said it to the Mohonans, not to do our own We don't even know it. The Mohonans are not going to manage their own care. It's not about your life. The anointing knows everything. We are gathered here today. Because it is a special day. Hallelujah. Some of the wars that we fight, some of the prayers that we keep on praying about. Sometimes it requires the men of God to just say, Man is our preacher. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen, amen. amen. So, it teaches us a lot of things. Because when the opportunity, when, when, when the man of God was tired, God created that situation. So that it gives an opportunity for each and every one of us to minister to the anointing. So that that anointing can flow and fight my battles in my home, on my behalf, in the whatever battles you may be fighting in your life, at the foot of the mountain. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. It doesn't matter what you your distractor was saying what. I should not pass up with you. Can I want to see he who is on the throne, who sees everything, who never sleeps nor slumbers, Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Some of it, it just needs us to submit to that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You know, in the Bible, there's an issue of, there's a story about five uh, wives and uh, Foolish virgins. I used to wonder why the other five virgins who had preserved themselves, why were they called foolish? Yet they had actually preserved themselves to that level. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. They were called foolish because they could not submit to those who had the oil and the lamps that were on. They were in the same room, but they did not submit to their colleagues who were there. They were, when the groom comes, we are also here. We are in the same room. It's just submitting and understanding. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. But when they came back, they had no access to the group. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. Yet they had access already. But they left. Amen, amen. 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 Church, what am I saying today? Hagar. See the world that was there, right there beside them. Amen. So when it's in Goa, I want to tell you, teach me to My prayer today, they have 
Gut. Ah, geil. John Christ best. You are the brightest in the world. Usa fene nyota. Uri bashitu uchemfura. Whatever situation you have in your life. Understand that the anointing that is here today. It can flow. And fix your issues on the bottom of the mountain. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen, amen. 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 Jesus Christ, we understand in the Bible. The only road that he grew up in wisdom and in stature. But there is a point where he had to go to humble himself before John the Baptist his ministry to start. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. He was the son of God. He was the chosen one. But for his ministry to start, he had to humble himself before John and get baptized by John before the heavens opened, opened up for, me, for him. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. But today I want to say to you all, The anointing is in this house. All we have to do is to submit to it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. When we minister to the men of God, when we minister to the anointing, the anointing that is, the anointing will start to flow and fight our battles at the bottom of the world. How do we tap into the grace? of that anointing. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. Simple material and the and the chap. Babarunga Zambara. Praise and worship and achieve Babarunga. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. That's tapping into the grace of the anointing. Sometimes you don't have to tell put situation and dinner here. The grace that, that anointing already knows what you are going through. Yeah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yeah. To give you an example that the anointing is, that you don't have to follow it. You know the widow who at one time was in death? And her husband who used to, to work with Elisha. He died. So she went to Elisha. Thank God she had spiritual eyes. She could tell where the solution was. It was to the anointed man of God. Hallelujah. She went and humbled herself before him. And she was able to pay the debt. There is one thing that is very important that happened that day. It's when they were filling their containers. Hallelujah. Amen, amen. They were feeling containers, and it. Elisha had on Goribo. Look at the fire at all. And it. Pack up and go. The children and the children. Because the eye of Apache Sira. The anointing listens. Hallelujah, hallelujah. My foot and my mirror. Hallelujah, hallelujah. My message to you, and one man, very good. Jacqueline, that's good. Anointing is with us. It only works when we own it. It only works when we humble ourselves before it. When are you going to join the Baptists? The well of grace is right here in front of us. How do you tap into that grace? You see, every day you know what to be so wrong for this much time and life. We see every day. By my table. I see every day I step up, I'm 